Hi and welcome to another reaction and this time we are reacting to the title track for NMIC's latest comeback uh, which is Party O'Clock. So uh, their previous comeback right they had uh, Young Dumb Stupid as the pre-release right and then they have Love Me Like This. So uh, to be honest I'm loving both songs so much listening to both of them so much. Um, so um, very excited for this. Um, I've decided not to actually react to the B side because um might be a little too much. So instead, I'm just gonna be doing the title. So I've actually checked out Roller Coaster and I do actually kind of like it. Although um I think most people would be a bit underwhelmed because it feels kind of B side. But then to be honest, that is kind of a B side. Um, although I I mean they are promoting it, but to me, I always have that like thought that mm, like pre-release could just be a b-side kind of thing so yeah without further ado we have party o'clock here uh in three two one okay we have jiwoo beginning oh the bass it's cool that we are starting with jiwoo's rap wait that's kujin okay they swap in between i didn't even realize Oh my god, hey one. Oh, that was a very cool. Oh, the way she sings is so sexy. That's the one I'm gonna use. Suyun. Her voice always suits like a pre chorus very well. And they, yes. I'm hoping for some bass singing actually. Yay, Lily Chorus. Oh, that hit voice. Oh my god. Yeah, Jiu singing. Oh, Jiu is really showing us everything, right? Singing and rapping. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, bass singing. Of course, Eugene singing, rapping, both. Okay, now we have Suyin Chorus. Totally different feeling right now. Okay, we are back to Lee again. Interesting. Oh no, that was Bae. Oh, shoot. Okay, <laughs> that's the end mix coming in. End mix. <laughs> oh, that's slow mo. Of course, you must have Yuji leading the dance break, right? Okay, we are back. Oh, we are not finished. Oh, that was so cute at the end. Hey, some law related stuff. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, that is a ghost ship of some sort, right? Ghost. Is it a ship? Yeah, I think this ship and then the, what do you call it, the hall, the, the thing in front drop. Right. Hey. Let me re. Okay, so. I'm just gonna watch it once, but let me tell you what I feel about the song. Um, firstly, um, not the very strong um, uh, tone that you expect from 
you know, their debut track and all, right? So, number one. And then secondly, that because this, I, um, this album, I believe, is related to summer, right? So, definitely, uh, we are gathering, we are getting this, um, more summery feeling from them. So, definitely, they are catering this song for the summer, um, uh, summer mood, I guess. Yeah. So, um, I, I do get a little bit of a twice kind of, uh, sound in it, uh, because, you know, they are JYP after all. So, I think J, JYP himself actually wrote the song. So, I can kind of see twice doing this song, although I, uh, they have definitely did some changes to really match, uh, and mix, uh, personal color as well. So, that I can feel, but, Still a bit of um resonance of like twice I would say in the song. Uh so but that gives the song a little bit of the summary vibe that um I think they're looking for. Okay, so um one thing that I love the most, okay, not one thing, the thing that mo I love the most about the song, it's how um every single part, right, are, are sung by if not even sing. But rap as well, right? Are done by different members, and you know it gives a very, very different feel every time. So, um, let me just go look for that K one part again. Yeah, this part. And that was, was that Lily rapping? I'm not sure. Is that, maybe I'm not, maybe i mistaken. But anyway, that hey one part, the way she, she's not even really hate voice, right? That's like a combination somewhere around here that she's singing. And then like, I can hear a bit of chess as well. That like, that is a crazy voice over there. Like, I don't care for like, mindless high pitches, but that is a very technical sounding singing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure how you call it, say it, but at least to me, that is very difficult to pull off and she done it really, really well and it, 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 it hit something in me, I feel. So, so uh, overall, the music video is actually very simple, I would say. It's very, there's not much uh, CG going on, I think. Um, a lot of outdoor shots, a lot of um, not much in the set. Everything, every set are like, very realistic. Uh, real, you know. The only thing that you get is the ending part where they are in the forest. Uh, and then you have all these uh, marine animals swimming around, right? And that is about it. And the rest, I think the bubbles are real. And oh, sorry. So. Very cool. I think, I mean, I, I wouldn't even say that it's low budget, you see. Like, I think it's done in a very simple way. Uh, intentionally, that's what I think. And um, I think um, it is good enough, right? It, I, I, it, I, don't, I don't think it needs to blow me off in terms of how much money they spend. But just based on the amount that they put in, I'm very happy with. Uh, what has been done for this song so yeah i i believe that this is just a so-called mini album so it's just this song and roller coaster and i'm very happy with both songs i think i'm gonna really enjoy this for the summer and i think i'm gonna look forward to their next comeback i believe uh, from the way that they only have two songs right i think they're gonna hold down Hold down some songs for the next song, uh, next album for the year. I hope, I hope for that. And at the moment, I'm gonna listen to Party O'Clock. I'm gonna listen to Roller Coaster. I'm gonna listen to Young Dumb Stupid. I'm gonna listen to Love Me Like This. Which these two songs I'm still listening to. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy my reaction, and I'll see you guys on the next one.